morning guys welcome did i say did i already start the vlog i don't think so good morning and welcome to today today is cold what is the temperature today it is six degrees in rain six degrees i have a question and it is 8 a.m okay oh, again. oh okay so when you go into the kitchen to grab something or go anywhere to grab the something you start too cold <laughs> You're a princess. And then, um, Ow! you go and you don't know where, what, you what you're grabbing shocked. anymore. All right. So you go to the kitchen and you shocked. don't know what you're grabbing. We are all over the place this morning, you guys. Shocked. Welcome to today. We are a mess. Gabby's going in to get a sweater because my sweater that is in the car has this kind of silky sleeves on the inside. It's got fur here and then silk here. Yeah, they're too cold if, for Gabby. If I'm cold, I'll just use yours. Yeah, you can use mine. But anyways, and I'm wearing Sam's fine. because when I went to get ready, when I went to put a sweater on this morning to go outside, my sweater was in the car. Anyway, we're headed to the barn because it is chiropractor day. That's why you have husbands. Yeah, no, I love having a husband. Anyways, it is one of our one of my favorite days ever. Chiropractor day. I know our horses love it and I get to spend an hour and a half with somebody who's not a part of our family and it's just an awesome day. So Oh, so you don't like spending time with me? Yeah, I do like spending time with you, Sophie. It's just that it's nice to be able to talk to somebody else. And I love our chiropractor. I've told you guys before, like, I love her. She is fantastic. She's such an amazing woman. So accomplished. And she shares so much information with us. Like, she helps us a lot. She gives us a lot of information. So we're going to go, and we'll see you guys when we get to the barn. We are stopped again. I don't know if you guys can see it. You can't see it, but a minute ago, there were snowflakes coming from the sky. Now it's raining. So now Sophie's gone in to get now a coat. Now it's raining. Yeah, now it's raining. She's got heart cookies. Gabby's got treats. She's wearing my sweater. I'm wearing Sam's I sweater. I know. The only one wearing a winter coat. It's cold. Not a horse in sight. Somebody must have told them that it was chiropractor day. But just for reference, it's six degrees Celsius. And which is freaking yeah, cold. Oh, that was a sweater. Yeah, and yesterday we couldn't, didn't even have to wear a sweater. Oh, chilly. Oh, no, go away. <laughs> I was just saying that it's funny how the horses know their people, but this horse coming up beside me is not mine. <laughs> anyway, I think I see Finn over here. The girls went the long way through the woods, thinking that the boys are all back there, but I swear Finny's over here, yep. Finny's here with, wait, oh, there's Gino. I got two of them. Oh, and Storm. The girls went the long way and I got all the horses here. Storm be hanging in the woods. Can't see them. And then there's Finn and Gino. Storm knows where all the good grass is. Hi, handsome. Come this way. Don't walk through the rocks. Come this way. Yeah, there you go. Step over the... Come on. A little further. Come on. Good boy. Yeah, I love you. It'll be funny to see the girls coming through there. Come on, Finny. Come on, Gino. They're looking. They're so confused. They're looking. They hear the girls. Gino's like, where is it? They both hear them. They're like, I hear them. Oh, there they are. Horses? <laughs> We're here finally, Gabby says. I love when Gabby's in a funny mood. Finn, I got a heart cookie. So I'm like, heart cookie? <laughs> Why didn't I get a heart cookie? Don't worry, Finny, she says. I'm not riding you. They're like, yeah, we'll just stick with the grass. Oh, yeah. You're stuck with me. Yeah. It's okay. Wait. <laughs> Finn, just wait, Storm. Wait. Finn's like, I... Okay, hold on. Here, Finny. Finn's like, oh... Finn's like, I'll go to you. <laughs> She's got, hey, be nice, big guy. He's like, don't give him treats. Did you see that? I tried to knock my hand right out of the way. Storm is loving this. There's a couple of spots that he loves to be, to be scratched. So he's got this spot where he's got a couple of scars from. You should video Chino's favorite treat. This is Chino's favorite treat here. What the heck are you doing? Oh, this is what we need to do. Clean them up and make them fancy, make them special. How you doing, Gino? If you have a horse. I mean, I like sour things. Don't give them up to him yet. Yeah, some horses like sour things. Give them a like warhead. Give him a warhead. Does he like warheads? Yeah, I oh. love them. Finn doesn't. That is some sour stuff. Did you give one to Storm? 
He didn't eat it. He didn't eat it? Whoa, it look at that hair. A rough cutting job. A rough cutting job, Chino. That's what you're getting. He's like, I don't care as long as you touch me. Our horses love to be touched. All right, give it to him. So whenever we are waiting for the chiropractor, we always do like a big brush and groom and clean their feet. All right, we'll get brushing him because she's going to be here. Look at that right. big booty. Look at okay, all the mud. So here we right. have a green warhead. Green warhead. And Chino loves them. You love them? They're sour, you guys. Yeah, you guys he know. He never for more, and he actually for more. Like, that's nuts. You're right, Stormy. Don't you push her off. <laughs> Do you want me to hold him? I've done this without him having yeah. the halter on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know this, don't you, Stormy boy? You've got your girl there. You love her. Calmest this boy ever is is when Gabby's around. A boy, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go out to the phone, to the car, and get my phone because I think she's late. Your knife. Oh no! See, she tricked me. She says like, "Oh, I'm just gonna do their bridal path," and then poof. I never said that. And well, you were just doing their bridal path, and now Chino oh. be looking kind of goofy just in time for show season. Oh well, I have to cut it so it actually makes the brains. I cut it a little shorter, but also it's like. Up and this part's down. Oh, oh. It's because it's thick. Oh, wow. I, know, I hate Her hair grows back. I know. See how it's up right here? Yeah. Think of a tree now. Yeah. Why? If it's down, it'd be even. <laughs> no, 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 all right, you guys can take your horses out. The girl spent the whole time in the bathroom. It's warm in there. All right, Finney's done, Chino's done, Stormy's done. Oh my gosh, Sophie, your horse just pooed. <laughs> Good luck. I cleaned up Chino's, I gotta pay. All right, even though chiropractor day is a big day for us, obviously it's not a big day for you. I don't video it out of privacy and respect for our chiropractor. Like I told you guys, I love her. Another girl's getting her horse done right now. Uh, we're headed home. It is six degrees. I don't know if you can see. My hands are frozen. Are you cold? Yes. You are? You spent the whole time in the heated bathroom. Were it's you cold? We had to walk the horses out. Yeah, you guys had to walk and the horses was, back. Like, so fast like he was marching. Yeah, so we had to turn the horses into a monster. All he wants is those treats now. Yeah, I'll, yeah. So um, she was able to, um, so all of her horses did really well. They, what did she say? She says they, they, shoot, what did she say? She says they adjusted well. All of our horses adjusted well. And I'm glad to be able to have the chiropractor come and take care of them every month and just as a preventative, as a maintenance thing. And anyway, let's go home. Let's go home and have lunch. That's what I want. All right, we are home and the mail has arrived. Oh, my phone case. I ordered a phone case. It's not even supposed to be here for another week. And it finally arrived. I'm so excited. Excited. Did you say yes? Look how gorgeous. So the one I got has like the watery stuff that moves in it. What? And wait, I'll show you. Okay, so mine's like a rose gold color and it's got the glitter that goes down in it, which is just so satisfying. And it's hearts, you guys. It has this thing on the back of it, which I wanted. And it turns. So then it also comes with this little pink. Wait, let's see if you guys can see it better pink cord that I love because then you can carry your phone around your neck and it also um, it unattaches to the phone case really easy so you can keep this around your neck and then attach the phone super easy or at least it did in the video I so I'm really excited about that no I want to put my phone I'm in it no I want to are you in love with my case Sophie no I just she want is to put phone in it. no no I'm Let gonna clean my it. phone first I bought all this stuff to go with my case and my case finally came super excited it's exciting Hey guys, it is a little bit later. They got away from us, we got busy doing stuff and I wanted to just tell you guys, I just wanted to talk to you guys about uh, yesterday's video and just tell you how we're feeling about it, how I'm feeling about it, how Sam is feeling about it. We're a little bit shocked and surprised by the level of hate and I think most people are. We got a lot of personal messages, a lot of children, 
and teenagers saying that they didn't feel comfortable posting on our videos, commenting on our videos the last couple of days because they felt like they were gonna get attacked. They said that they saw other people posting comments and that they had been attacked by people and it made me feel really sad for them. And most of the hate that's been happening in the last couple of days is based on people who don't like our videos, don't like us, people who took information from our videos, from our lives, and changed it and twisted it to to match a narrative that they believe in their head. And I would, and I tried to like explain that our trainer did not tell us not to jump big and that she was completely fine with us having a great day and spending time with our friends and uh, going over a couple of big jumps because we hardly ever do it. And when I tried to explain that to people, people just, change the narrative again to suit negativity and to suit anger and to suit meanness and um, suddenly our trainer was bad and we needed a new trainer or suddenly uh, I was lying. People said that Fiona only wants to please us and that's why Brandon hasn't been here. Obviously Brandon hasn't been here because of COVID and I've explained that to you. It's so many people changed all of the things that we said around to suit a negative mean narrative and that's what it was it was just hate and for some reason a lot of you guys feel like hate and constructive c criticism are the same and they are not the same there were very there were many constructive kind constructive criticism on our in our comments there were many and i responded to them and i appreciate those I'm referring right now to the people who are just mean. People who bashed an 11 year old child for not riding perfectly on her pony. People who bashed an 11 year old child learning to ride and calling out all the faults that she does when she rides. I don't know how we could live in the world that we all live in now and not realize that riding takes years and years and years to perfect you guys. You don't ever just sit on a pony and know how to ride and Sophia is doing the best she can with what she has. People talked about so many things completely leaving out the fact that we've had COVID for the last year and a half and how we've lacked in our trainers and we've just been doing the best that we can. People um, commented about us abusing our horses, commented us about us refusing to listen to them. You guys, think about it. If I listen to you, then I'm not listening to the next guy and the next guy and the next guy. We have, so I'm never going to be able to listen to every one of you. And I have to tell you, we have a huge team of people on our side. We have a huge team. We have a chiropractor, a massage therapist, our vet, two trainers, and they all help us. I don't share all of that. I don't share all the times that uh, they suggest things to us and the, and the times that we work through things. Right now, we're going through a really hard time with COVID and we're not able to access our trainers as much. Anyway, I just wanted to say that it takes a really unhappy person to leave a mean, unkind comment about a child on a video to people they've never met and horses they've never seen. And it makes me sad. It makes me sad that there are so many people out there that feel that this behavior is okay and feel such unhappiness that they feel that they need to express it in this way. For all of you guys that left kind comments, thank you. And for all of you guys who left constructive comments, thank you even more. For all of the people that messaged me and said, oh my gosh, Laura, I'm so sorry. I, I hate what's happening. Thank you for your support and your kindness. I'm not asking that you believe in every decision we make. I'm not asking that you subscribe to us or follow our, follow our channel. I never ask that. We never ask you to subscribe. I believe it should be a choice. If you want to follow our adventures, then follow our adventures. If you want to believe that we abuse our horses or that we are bad owners, then believe that. But please don't come to our channel and destroy the community that we've grown, that we've worked really hard to build. I want our community to be a safe place for all the children that do want to come here, for all the people that do want to watch our videos. Um, our terms of service with YouTube uh, make it a requirement that we monitor our comment section and uh, keep it safe for minors. And so we will be doing that um, by blocking comments on 
writing videos. I'm sorry to the people who really like to comment and have kind, constructive things to say. Um, it will just be for a while. We have to do whatever we can to keep the environment kind and safe and not a bullying atmosphere for people um, that want to that want to be here. So anyways, for today's video, I'm just going to add in uh, the first time Gabby jumped this same jump with Chino, uh, with our trainer, and um, I want to share that with you guys again. It was a really great video. Please know that I wish all of you the best, and I truly, from the bottom of my heart, feel sad for the people that honestly feel it's okay to leave comments like some of you did. I know that you have to be hurting inside and feel angry inside and feel less than I want for you to feel inside and that makes me sad. I want everyone to be happy. Uh, regardless of the comment that you left, I still love you all and wish the best for you and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Aww, all the girls feeding Chino. That's a handsome man that's got a bunch of girls hanging over him while he eats. I can't hear bear bear about Polly. Ooh. I think I'm bruised. I can't. I'm a little bit. Mommy, put too much salt in that. He I doesn't get salt, so it's good for him. We need to buy some salt licks for our farm. I think uh, I'm bruised. You're bruised? Are you that home? I don't know. In the next, All within, I felt was her spawn. before two weeks from today. All I felt was Because it's the end of the month. All right, are you guys worried? No. Well, Yesterday, Gabby made Coco buff. Mm. He tried to get on a bear bag from the ground and he was like, no thanks. Giving everybody candy because the barn is closed. I, I won't eat Do you want to take it and give it to your sister? Sure. Thank I you. Really won't eat it. I'll get it. It's All right. Really Wait, let's make sure. Here. Here. Giving yeah, everybody candy. Everybody's getting candy. All that work we did to make those candy bags, now the barn's closed, so now we're giving everybody candy. I'm gonna save one for Brandon. Everybody's getting candy. Give everybody candy. She pushed me off. I was laying on Nedra and she comes and puts the on top of me and then just pushes me off. You are a troublemaker. And I'm rubbing You got hair on you? Oh, poor girl. No. Okay, Gabby's taking her payment of candy. She's making everybody give them her hot, their hot lips. All right, Gabby, do you want to come with me oh, to no. give Buns hot lips? And Molly's going to give the horses her candy. <laughs> Sophie, get tacked up. You ride it very soon. How was the triple bar oxer? Okay, first time we took off. The jump is this wall. We kind of took off here. Over that line. Did you almost die? Three, two, one. I need two close. One more, where I'm not so close to the jump and can actually get the video. Balance, three, two, one. Very nice. One, two, three. Good, coming to the oxer. Double. Three, two, one. Yes. Leg. Good. Thank you. Change. Good. Come on, Chino, wake up. Okay. First pink oxer to the second pink oxer in this direction. Lots of leg, look up. Lots of go. Excellent. Okay, keep cantering. You're going to go blue to teal and go left towards echo. Balance and slow him down. Good job. I totally didn't follow you with the camera at all. <laughs> Canter around to the triple bar. Shorten the rein a couple inches. Good. Sink the heel. Elevate the hand to lift the shoulder. Yes. Close your thigh. Three, two, one. Good. Again. With a change. Nice. 
Ask him to step out after the oxer and use a little more of his corner. Looking up. Three, two, one. Much nicer. Good boy. Come over, oxer to oxer diagonal. He's like, I want to be done, lady. Balance and rhythm. Bring your shoulder back. Close your leg. Three, two, one. Yes. One, two. Lead change. Step out and kick. Thank you. Red to blue. Three, two, one. Two, one. Better. Let him walk. I'm glad you didn't. Did anybody just, just Chloe fell? Chloe fell? Mm-hmm. Who is you riding? All right, we got Finny here. Let's pay attention to him. Finny. Finn and Storm are lying down. Yeah, I can tell he was laying down. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way.